It's all quiet on the Western Seafront these days. It wasn't always like this. 20 years ago, a gang of teenagers from a local housing estate terrorised the beaches. No bank holiday passed without a battle. They were called the Squad. I knew them in their heyday, all fanatical about Bristol Rovers, all mad, bad and dangerous to know. The stories are well documented by the press, police and the courts. But what about their own stories? Budgie, Daffy, Mountain, Sweat, Wally, oh and Tone. The characters are as vivid now as they were 20 years ago. The squad members all came from the notorious Bourneville estate. Isolated from the town of Weston by the two main railway lines to the west. An estate full of bored young men. As luck would have it, I got the chance to come back 20 years later to listen to their stories and look back on those infamous days. top club in Birmingham, expecting Western Supermare to be somewhere quite quiet. I was quickly enlightened that it wasn't, and um, it was just as bad as where I'd come from in the inner city. Well, it all started back in 74, 75, back at school. It was um, Wally Valves, Pagey, he's, he's dead now. He had an accident at work, uh, daff and sweat. The youngsters down here were considered to be quite uh, beyond control. But in, in the main, it's been my belief that um, Bourneville is not as bad as it's painted. Certainly from a youth club point of view, um, it wasn't as bad as some people thought. The club was just locked up on by the youngsters as a refuge, but unfortunately by the people who lived in the locality as a place where all the troublemakers gathered. <laughs> 